In today's education, it's more and more important that teachers have a range of skills that build on the traditional teaching skills that they already have. Because Minecraft is a sandbox game, there's a range of opportunities that teachers can make use of. Students can create worlds, they can visit existing worlds like ancient Greece or the pyramids, they can create mathematical problems, they can create electrical circuits, they can learn programming. It's a whole world of opportunities. Now the version that we use, Minecraft EDU, also allows us to program certain elements so we can make use of it in terms of enhancing the collaboration skills of pupils. You can do anything on it. You can build like letters. Also, it's very good for coding as well. It's a more advanced way of just like learning with computers. You can have fun crafting and also making items. I think if you can get a product like Minecraft uh, that engages students at a very early age and you can educate them through play, then you're going to get far more out of it. Today is the first of our Minecraft Roadshow events. So we've pulled together some partners including HP, Microsoft and Minecraft EDU to put together a programme that provides a hands-on experience for teachers. Having looked around and having spoken to a few people, uh, this is certainly their first time using Minecraft. We've been uh, learning how to use the controls, uh, what Minecraft is really all about, telling us how to build, how to mine, how to use the properties of different materials, make shapes and things, uh, instead of leading us up to just different challenges like trying to save the villagers from volcanoes. So your first task in this brand new virtual world um, is to build some way of getting up to that door to get out of the building. Now you can either do it individually or you can do it as teams. Minecraft is an educational resource that is not just a game, it filters across the whole of the curriculum. It can be linked into literacy and numeracy where they're thinking about planning, mapping out, building and then writing descriptions of worlds they've created. I think actually the possibilities in the classroom are limitless. When you run Minecraft EDU you're running on a closed server so really it's just student to student and teachers in there so it's a safe environment. One of the biggest problems with computer games in education is they are very disruptive and that's not what we need in education. So Minecraft EDU has a number of control features which allows the teacher to stay in control of the class. Learning through play has always been um, probably the best way to, to teach. I work with behaviour, so the children I work with, it's finding a way to actually access their learning in a different way. The key thing really is helping teachers to be able to exploit technology to get the best out of students. It gives teachers just another tool in their armoury in order to support education.